Hi there, Mark here from Best Home Planetariums, taking a look at the Bliss Lights Evolutions. This is a star and nebula projector available from Amazon. It comes with this orb and it just sits on this tray, so that means you can easily position this. It just spins around. At the back is a USB Type C power adapter and there's a cable that comes with it. And then you've got the main projection sections on the top. As I say, this is a nebula and laser, that's why there's two of them. If you like this kind of stuff, make sure to hit subscribe to the channel and give this a like. Here's the USB cable that comes with it. It's got a little button on, I'll show you that in a bit, that controls it. But actually you're going to be using an app to control this. You'll find it by searching for Bliss Lights Evolution in your app store. And setup was very easy. You simply search for the device. It'll tell you what to do. It'll tell you to plug it in, hold down that button that's on the power cable. So make sure you use that cable rather than your own. And that will allow it to pair with the device and set up the Wi-Fi connection. This process takes a few minutes to complete. Once you've entered your password, it takes a couple of minutes for the device to be finally set up. But once it's done, you then have access to it and can control it using the app. It gives you control over things like the brightness and rotation speed. You can turn the stars off if you don't like them. They are just little pinpricks of green dots. You can adjust the brightness. So if they're too bright, you can just lower them down and you can change the rotation speed of the nebula and stars so if it's going a little bit too fast you can slow that down you've also got uh, they, they've called it clouds the nebula effectively you can turn that off if you just want the dotty starry sky you can adjust the color you can adjust the movement speed again and brightness this is basically you can customize this to exactly how you want it so if you're having a party you might want everything moving a bit quicker if you just want it as a nice slow relaxing scene you can do that and adjust it to the color of your choice as you can see there is a huge range of colors available and i personally think it does look better without the dots up for stars in the background I think then the cloud effect looks really fantastic it's kind of swirling and alive and when you add in the lasers I think it kind of takes something away from that but that's just my personal preference let me know below which you prefer cloud and lasers or just cloud there's also a set of themes for you to pick from so you can press the theme you like and it will do all the settings for you so I'll set the colors the speed all that kind of stuff and although there's some preset ones there, the powerful feature for the app is that you can set up your own. So you can have this exactly as you want it, save that setting, and that means if you do move away from a setting you really love, you can easily come back, press the theme button, and it will reapply those settings for you. You can also have it static flashing or breathing, and breathing just means that it will rotate between different color scenes. So you can set up multiple colors and it will gradually breathe between those to give it a sort of a very alive feeling as if it's evolving on your wall or ceiling. For those who want to leave this on and have it automatically turn off you can do that. There is a timer so you can set it for up to 24 hours after which time it will automatically turn off. If you intend to use this regularly though you might prefer the schedule option and that allows you to set up on or off times for different days of the week. So you can have all days, just Monday to Friday, just Saturday to Sunday, have them turn on, turn off. One thing to note though is that it does let off a lot of light when in use. You can see the room is very well lit and I can understand if that would put you off using this to try and go to sleep under. One big positive though is that this is a very quiet device. It's pretty much silent. I couldn't hear anything when next to it. So you can hear my gentle tapping but no motors. If your mobile's out of reach or you've turned it off, you can use the inline control button to change between settings and you can even use it to turn this on and off. If you want to learn more about this device, I've put an affiliate link in the description below. And if you haven't already seen it, go check out my mega comparison. 